Let's now join the action. First ball, Zahir Khan to Sanat Jayasuri. And of course, Jayasuri letting his intentions known immediately. Beautiful shot through the offside. That's gone over the top. Full and also a bit of width. That's well played. A neat deflection from Jay Surya. Fine leg was up in the circle. Good touch here from the Sri Lankan captain. That was very clever by Sanat Jaya Surya, realizing that the Indians had got their, his favorite areas covered, um, just getting across the stamps and uh, nudging it very, very finely. As he enjoyed that shot, Mindy. the aerial route here is clear point and he's found the boundary and he's got it fine again this is an expensive over except if you do it like that beautifully played that's a lovely shot down to the boundary for four this man is one of the best players of a pool shot in the game today. Lovely cricket, positive. It's good cricket. He knows they're going to bowl straight at him. He knows he wants to hit it on the onside. So if he can get inside it, and it's just a little short like it was on this occasion, Jaya Surya just rocks back. He doesn't try and keep it down because there's no fielders there. They're very close. They're only 15 yards from the bat. That's four. That's exactly what Barry Richards was talking about. You cannot pitch the ball outside leg stump. Might be worthwhile looking at exactly where that ball pitched by using the mat we use for LBWs, that red zone, just to give you some idea of how far off line he is. Yeah, it'd be interesting. Jaya Surya does get a long way across as well, but uh, he have to be precise. Look at this, pitching outside leg, well outside, gives him a free hit. And even if he doesn't time it to perfection, it's always going to go away for four. That cannot be out LBW. Looks like it can on the on the picture, but it's pitched outside leg. So Ganguly's got his problem, so is precise. He's not quite sure now what to do. The fielders are going all over the place, so they, they are opting to go back to the orthodox. There's a man going to deep point or square cover on the boundary he'll be a sweeper well have a look at that lovely little dab just knocking it down to third man the Sri Lankans on this ground it's sharing every single ball the reason why they've gone up there is because he's now reached his half century Sana Jaya Saria is having a ball 83 for one and 16 that's a good shot, that's six, it's a biggie, way into the crowd, beautiful shot, Sanatai Saria just loves loose bowling. Well, the Sri Lankans have gone a little quiet here for a while, they're smiling again. That did break the shackles for Sanat Jaya Surya. That was very short and Sanat Jaya Surya with that powerful bottom hand was able to clear the mid-wicket boundary. Hacked it away. Would be a vital piece of play. The top he goes, mid off's up. So it's going to land in no man's land. It won't go for four, but that's it. 100 for Sanat Jaya Surya in the final. He's had a very, very good Coca-Cola trophy. His wife's delighted. What a birthday present for her. The Sri Lankan fans are delighted. Over the top and smashed away. Saw him coming, could do nothing about it. 178 for four. In the air, man can't get to it. Again, just falls wide and just trickles over the boundary. I think he was expecting it. Jai Surya was back on his stumps and got it in front of square. The man is behind, had a lot of ground to make up. But Dani couldn't get there. Just a fraction shorter than the previous delivery. 
And with him knowing that they are not going to be pitching the ball up to him, he was ready for that. He did well in front of Square. He's gone again. And this one's a max. Yes, sir. Two on the truck. Four, six. I think that shot just shows how strong Salah Jack Syria is. Very, very strong forearms. There's no way you could say this is a legitimate hook shot. He's just scooping it up, just helping it up towards the onside. And it's edged and gone, just two bounces, in fact only one. When he goes at the ball, he goes so high, this is turning out to be a bonanza over for Sri Lanka. Two fours and a six already, plus a couple of singles, and a no ball as well. 199. Coming all over now for Sanat Jayasuriya and the Sri Lanka. 17 runs from this over already. Had just 12 runs from his previous five overs, Zaire Khan. And the running, he'll have to hit. And he just misses. And will there be overthrows? Sanat Jayasuriya has followed through too far. 200 up for four down, 40 overs gone. just smashed away one bounce four i think he read the slower ball on that occasion that's just power personified and this will be gone for uh, four probably can't get to it the fielder slower delivery again picked it well he's on fire son is jai Surya. there's no stopping him Oh, he's hit that one. It's gone all the way again. It's another six. Yes. Two metres over the boundary. He's whipped it away off his leg stump. Well, that one's racing away to the boundary as well. I think it's going to get there. Well, there's another example of it. He brings up his 150. Jaya Surya has just equaled his highest score in one day internationals also made against India that was in Mumbai he's having a ball well that now does become his best score will he come back for the second yes he does so that goes to 153 now his best score in his career in one day internationals awful toss that's four take it away Take it away. A full toss just outside off stump. Money for roll rope. 237 for four. This has been one of those great knocks. And this is where he sits now in terms of the picking order here in Sasha. Lara, 169. Jaya Surya, 158. And not out. Lara, a 153. And then Sachin Tendulkar, 143. Those are the top four. Oh, and he's missed it. He's missed it. The pressure now really getting to the Indians. They must feel just a little bit, a uh, little bit despondent, although that was a difficult one, difficult bounce. Yeah, it's just uh, got the feeling that Joshi didn't get his body behind it. He obviously must have thought that it might have carried. There was an opportunity of, for him to dive forward. But all in all, I think that's a sloppy effort. Square leg, one bounce for four. Yet another boundary to Sanat Jaisuriya. He continues to plunder this Indian attack to every corner of this ground. Well, all the Indian bowlers are under the hammer here from Jaisuriya. He's got the highest score in Sharjah, 176. He goes past Blind Lara. And uh, he looks good for more here. This Indian attack has taken a real pasting today. 
midfielders disappearing everywhere on the boundary. It's not mattered so far. Interesting field here. Three men on the onside on the boundary. Oh, that's good bowling. Slower ball. He's down the wicket. Fine legs up in the circle. We don't see this field too often. You've got a man deep backwards, square leg. You've got a man at deep mid wicket, and you've got a man at long on. Oh, yes, he's trying everything now. I think. Uh, Jai Surya has decided, well, he's going to try absolutely everything. He'll probably bring someone like Voss in next. So uh, he'll, he'll be saying, well, it's going to be everyone have a go from now on in. Yes, Voss is there with his pads on, so uh, he's ready to, uh, to get out there and have a go. He's a, he's a good hitter of the ball, Voss, as well. Yes, he's got a great chance here to become the highest scorer in one day international cricket. Uh, at least post the highest score. He's hit that one at Stead Square and... Oh yes, all the way again. Jai Saria is having the party of his life here in Saja. It may well be his wife's birthday. But boy, he's taking all the presents himself. He's smashing full tosses to every corner of this ground. Well, she can't ask for a better gift. Now what will Ganguly do? Where will he keep a fielder? <laughs> he's peppering that onside boundary. Even though there are fielders there everywhere on the boundary line. Always oh, whacked that one. Straight down the ground. It's four. It's four more. Full toss. He adjusts it so well. Ganguly is the man who's on now. Yes, yeah, a surprising decision, Tony, to really get himself on at this stage because he's not bold in this innings. He's up against a batsman who's in deadly form and eyeing a double hundred. Equal with Richards, he is at number two. Oh, he's gone, he's gone, he's gone! Oh, no, he's gone! Oh, wide is given as well, but he's gone. Out stunt. What an innings. Well, we've been privileged to see one of the best. Someone should have told him you could have made the highest score ever. He is getting a standing ovation. There are Indians, there are Arabs, there are Sri Lankans and Englishmen. Everyone on their feet cheering this man off. He has witnessed, they, we have all witnessed a great innings. There's no doubt about the fact, one of the great innings in one day international cricket. 189 runs of just 161 balls and people standing everywhere. A magnificent effort by the Sri Lankan captain. He saved the best for the last. 282 for five.